I'm getting a divorce and starting my life over. Get out with that chubby child of yours. My husband, without being asked, arrogantly narrated the beginning of his relationship with his lover and announced our breakup. The story was so full of misunderstandings that both my daughter and I were speechless in disbelief. Not knowing anything is a sin. Okay? You. Don't be surprised. That woman is... My name is Veronica. At the age of 40, I harbor resentment towards my expanding waistline that grows fuller with each passing year. I think it's time to start writing in my room, beat the flap, and go on a diet. This is a story related to my diet. A few years ago, I lived happily with my husband and daughter. The only thing that worries me is that my daughter Olivia is glued to the smartphone I bought her because she has to go to extra tutoring classes. However, that wasn't a significant issue. I find my daughter's slightly rebellious phase as she enters middle school endearing. I thought our family was happy and thriving. One day as soon as my husband came home from work, Starting today, my dinner can be something like rabbit food, he declared. What? What? That crunchy stuff? You mean cereal? I asked. No, not that. I prefer a plant-based diet. Make it vegetable-focused, he said. Even though he mentioned a plant-based diet, he would always eat instant noodle or sweets after meals. With such a fussy eater, even though he's a grown adult, I wonder what kind of plant-based diet could be served to a husband who can't eat bell peppers. Even if I serve plenty of vegetables as instructed, I can't help but think, He'll just eat up ending cup noodles anyway. Why suddenly pretend to be a vegetarian? I'm not trying to be a vegetarian. I just thought I'd lose some weight. My husband's words made my daughter and I burst out laughing. You couldn't even stick to abstinence from alcohol, so don't suddenly go for an extreme diet. Despite our opposition, my husband seemed determined to go on a diet. Thinking he would get bored in a few days, we prepared a plant-based diet to support him. However, surprisingly, this time he stuck with it without getting bored. He started meal restrictions, muscle training, night running, and even going to the gym. His once symbolic middle-aged paunch was gradually getting slimmer. This surprised both my daughter and me. We were puzzled, wondering about the change in his mindset from being someone skilled at giving up after a few days. This time, since he continued to abstain from alcohol, we couldn't help but wonder if during the company health check, he was told that he has some illness that he hasn't shared with us, or if there are health concerns he's keeping to himself. What kind of change in mindset? I asked, but Arnold replied, I just want to look cool. That was the only surprising answer I received. Well, I'm a little concerned about it, but if it's a healthy and reasonable diet, I should support it. With that in mind, to assist with my husband's diet, I've been searching for healthy recipes. But as he loses weight, his eccentric behaviors become more noticeable. In the morning, after returning from running and preparing for our work, my husband, standing in front of the bathroom mirror, would smile while fixing his hair. Holding a smartphone, he would imitate the trendy hairstyles from the searched images. He started buying clothes on his way home from work, and he began wearing accessories. However, his sense of style seems to be stuck around the second year of middle school. He favors t-shirts with dragon designs and likes to wear chunky chain necklaces, which my daughter finds uncool and very unpopular. Even neighbors started making somewhat rude comments like, Has your husband recently changed a lot? Is everything okay? Sorry to ask, but is he having an affair? Or, no offense, but with that kind of fashion, is he really not having an affair? These were some of the somewhat impolite things people said. But even my daughter asked, Dad, you're not having an affair, right? 
As she raised suspicions about her dad possibly having an affair, I, initially thinking his appearance might deter a woman, grew uneasy, considering the possibility of some curious individuals. One day during a holiday, my husband, who usually stayed home, began going out more to the gym and for runs since starting his diet. On that particular day, he stood in front of the bathroom mirror wearing a white suit. The appearance of a belated groom, or perhaps an outdated dancer, made me doubt if this was truly our bathroom. Are you going somewhere today? I couldn't help but ask. Just shopping with a friend. I thought it was a lie. Oh, who is it? I inquired. My boss. A male boss, right? It's surprising to treat him as a friend, but going out with a guy and dressing up in a suit? Sorry, I'm running late, so I have to go. Without giving a straightforward answer to my question, my husband hastily left the house. Needless to say, I suspected the possibility of an affair, as everyone said, because of his uncomfortable attitude. When I thought it might be suspicious if he came home late at night, my husband returned at 3 p.m. I wondered if he would return so early if he were having an affair, considering it was earlier than the curfew when our daughter was in elementary school. It might be my own unfounded assumption, but he's meeting with someone he can't usually spend time with. Isn't it normal to want to spend as much time together as possible? I've never cheated, and there's no one around me who has, so I regret only having knowledge from TV dramas. If it's not an affair, I can't understand why he came home unusually cheerful. However, from that day on, my husband never parted with his smartphone, and he started taking his diet more seriously than ever. One day, I've lost a lot of weight, and I need to start adding some meat to my diet he said. So for dinner, I served a meat dish. I measured my weight earlier, and it turns out I gained weight, so I don't need this after all, he said, leaving the hamburger I made entirely uneaten and pushing it onto our daughter. Despite drinking beer every day, he now drinks carbonated water. His thoroughness is almost like he's a model or something. As a result, our daughter, who was forced to eat meals left by him, started gaining weight in stark contrast to him. I say she can leave the portions he pushes onto her, but Olivia says, I don't want to leave the food you cooked. She ends up eating the food, so I feel sorry for her. At this rate, because of my husband, our daughter will end up becoming chubby. However, my husband appears indifferent. Recently, he's been taking actions that imply he has no intention of concealing an affair, like making late-night phone calls and arriving home with a bag from a women's accessories brand. My daughter seems to have noticed and refers to her father with vulgar words like, that jerk of a dad. Well, it's true, so I'll forgive her. Gradually, my husband has become more arrogant, specifying his meal preferences, and he eats the vegetables he brought home or complains if there's no carbonated water in the fridge. If I get fat, it's your fault. He started getting angry and throwing things. His transformation is so extreme that I wonder if he's been possessed by a diet ghost. It's possible that even his brain capacity has gone on a diet. My husband, who lost about 30 kilograms, says, If only you were a bit more beautiful. Don't stand next to me. It lowers my status. Misleading statements started to increase. I don't want to be told that my status is lowering by a man who, no matter how much weight he loses, looks like a sleepy gorilla. Gradually, my husband's words turned into a personal attack on me, and one day, he says something like this. I've got a new girlfriend, so I guess we're done with the family for today. I was annoyed by my husband, who was boasting with a smug look. And even though neither my daughter nor I asked, he began recounting the story of how he met his girlfriend. According to my husband, fate brought them together just before he started his diet. One night, 
while drinking at the lounge of a hotel used for business entertainment, my husband fell in love at first sight with a woman at a distant table. Desperately striking up a conversation, they even exchanged contact information. When the truth came out, his companion turned out to be the daughter of a certain well-known company, naturally wealthy. Additionally, she was beautiful and slender, like a charming young woman. It seems my husband wanted to match up to her, so he started improving himself. After losing weight, he revamped his fashion and chose a white suit, intending to convey the message. My confession is tailor-made to suit you. In response to his feelings, she replied, I love your childlike purity. The two of them became a couple and recently, he successfully proposed. He is now keeping quiet that he is married and he has even taken off his ring in front of her to hide this fact. He's afraid of being exposed as married, fearing that it might make her dislike him. I finally found someone I care about, my husband said, tears welling up in his eyes. Well, I know the whole story, but oh well. I'm getting divorced and starting over in life. Leave this house with that chubby child of yours. With a confident gaze, he stared us down and displayed a triumphant expression. Our daughter, insulted as a chubby child, had veins of anger visible on her face. You really don't know, do you? Upon our daughter's words, my husband had a blank expression. No what? He asked in return. I've long noticed that you were having an affair. I've been gathering information for the divorce. So I know everything about the current situation. Even the things you don't know. But mom, dad says she's his soulmate. Maybe it's okay not to know you now. True. When our daughter glanced at him and smiled, my husband, looking flustered, eagerly took the bait. Hold on. What do you know about me and her? Is there something going on? If she's your soulmate, I don't think it's a big deal, right? That's right, Mom. As my daughter and I smirked, my husband impatiently urged me to hurry up and talk. I found out through a detective's investigation. Did you know your girlfriend is a really famous person? What are you talking about? In response to my question, my husband looked at me with a puzzled expression. That girl underwent surgery to become a woman, you know. Originally, she was a man. She's so cute that she became popular among young people for her social media and makeup tutorial videos. Olivia was following her too, it seems. My husband stood there, looking dumbfounded, as if he didn't understand what was being said. He's not familiar with social media or the internet. He mostly only reads the news. So, it's not surprising if he didn't know about her existence. I didn't know either. Look, see? This is Dad's girlfriend, right? Saying so, my daughter showed her father the top screen of his girlfriend's social media. On the profile, it was written, I used to be a boy, but now I'm a woman. Moving forward, I'll continue to work on myself and strive to embrace my feminine side even more. While technically being the person my husband had an affair with, she herself sees him as a single man. Looking at her profile and considering the challenges she has faced in her past, rather than harboring any resentment, it makes me want to support her. Really? He muttered, still glued to our daughter's phone, seemingly bewildered by the information he had just received. He scrolled through several photos of her, attempting to find any distinctions from his lover. Well, Olivia and I were planning to proceed with a divorce, so you don't need to worry about us. My husband, who had been told that his wife and daughter intended to abandon him, seemed shocked, despite being the one who initiated the divorce. It was ironic how he didn't want to be abandoned, even though he was willing to abandon us. That's right, Dad. If you're so nonchalant about your destined partner... We won't say anything. 
and just be happy with her. No, I mean, I thought she was a girl. If that's the case, I'd rather live with you guys. What? You claim to love her so much, but now you say if she used to be a man, you'd lose interest? Ugh, seriously. Your affection is unbelievably shallow. Ah, so that's why he tried to abandon us. As soon as he learned the true gender of his destined partner, my husband turned his back on her. Both my daughter and I felt genuine contempt. Whether she used to be a man or whatever, if you've come to love someone to the point of considering abandoning your family, then cherish them till the end. It's not just about us, but isn't it rude to play with someone's feelings? Well, it's a bit different from that. In response to my sermon, my husband looked visibly unsettled. What's the difference? Look at her post. Isn't this the day you proposed to her? I showed him a post that she likely wrote on the day he proposed, saying, I'm happy to meet someone who accepts all of me. I had given up on living with someone, but now I want to become a new me, supporting each other with my important partner. The post also included a photo of a ring, presumably the one he gave her. According to the detective's investigation, she had revealed she was originally a man when they first met. But my husband, probably intoxicated, took it as a joke and said, Then we can be good friends. The girl, often criticized for her past, was deeply moved by his words and accepted his vigorous advances. She went into the relationship believing that he had accepted all of her. It seems like she spoke about meeting a wonderful partner, expressing how happy she was in videos on social media and among people around her. She probably came to love my husband, who may not be cool at all with his face and fashion, because she felt he accepted all of her. She seems so pitiful that it makes me want to cry. I tell my husband the stories that my daughter and I know without holding anything back. I messed up. What do I do? My husband crumbled to his knees. It seems like I misunderstood her. Shouldn't we give it another try? My husband says, there's no way I would go along with such an invitation. I actually wanted to divorce as soon as I found out about the affair, but I just hesitated because it took time to look into alimony and find a good detective. It's not like I have any sentimental feelings. It was easy for me and my daughter. No, you will live the rest of your life alone. I told my husband. I'm not going to follow a man who was willing to easily discard me and our daughter. Moreover, misunderstanding her is just too rude. My daughter and I ignored my husband's attempts to stop us and left the house as we were told. Afterward, my husband confessed everything to his girlfriend, apologized, and sought separation. However, she got furious, and naturally, it turned into a dispute. Hiding the fact that he was married was awful, and considering she had been honest about her gender, I understand why she would want to express her thoughts. In the end, my husband turned her parents against him, and she, having a good lawyer on her side, demanded compensation for violating her chastity. But the story doesn't end there. She had reported on social media that she had a partner, and then she posted again on social media that she had broken up with her partner. Although she didn't mention names, she poured out the details of how they reached the breakup on social media. Looking back, posting such revealing content might have been the lawyer's idea. After all, she didn't know that my husband was married. If the details of this situation became known to the public, she might be viewed with suspicion for possibly knowing about the affair. As a famous person, she might face public outrage. As a precaution, she might have been advised to actively communicate to the public that she genuinely did know he was married. The video where she openly talked about everything was both too pitiful, bringing tears, and likely difficult for her to share. However, by telling her story, almost everyone sided with her. 
On the other hand, my husband was identified from her posts, and he faced intense backlash from her fans on the internet. His face photo became widespread, and it seems that malicious individuals even visited the company. Thanks to this, my husband was viewed with disdain by female colleagues at work, labeled as a cheating man, and subjected to gossip. There were even fans of the girl within the company, and he seemed to have experienced an uncomfortable atmosphere, being criticized as a man who lacked understanding of gender. And in a moment of impulsiveness, he resigned from the company. However, finding a new job for a middle-aged man who isn't proficient with computers is not so simple. Currently, he's making a living with Uber Eats and part-time jobs, while also paying compensation and child support to us. Occasionally, he falls behind on payments, and at such times, my daughter goes to angrily confront him about abandoning his responsibilities as a parent. My daughter is strong. I was told to leave, but during the asset division in the divorce proceedings, I outsmarted my husband, and the house remained ours. Originally, I had a job, so as long as we have the house, life with my daughter is not particularly difficult. Even my daughter... I thought we'd have trouble making ends meet without him, but it turns out we're stronger together than I thought. She laughed. Since separating from my husband, it seems like our eating habits have gone back to normal, and as a result, my daughter has also slimmed down. As two women, the only trouble we face is dealing with pests, like bugs. We always play rock, paper, scissors to decide who tackles the extermination. However, gradually, my daughter has become less afraid of killing bugs. As a parent, I worry about the future of my overly resilient daughter. Mom, aren't you going to remarry? Although my daughter asks me such questions, for the time being, I want to cherish the delicate period my daughter is going through and prioritize our time as a mother and daughter duo. In fact, I'd be fine with just the two of us forever. Living together as women is somewhat carefree and comfortable. Honestly, I prefer the ease of our current life over when I was married. I hope to continue spending relaxed and peaceful days with my daughter in the future. Well, I'm off to work again today.